you know given that i deal with so many clients and customers uh, my my job is as a coach consultant mentor whatever so i deal with people who have a goal have a dream have aspirations and they want an external guide or someone who they feel they can trust to push them to that level so one of the things i've noticed is how people actually convince themselves what they want to do and i tell them this whether you believe you can or you believe you can't you are right no nobody else's opinion matters now what do i mean by this okay like for example let's say a guy tells me okay uh, uh i'm going to make my i want your services i want to make my resume i want to improve my public speaking skills my networking skills my interview skills i want to go through a proper job hunt strategy i want to improve myself i want to enhance my personal brand okay my goal is i want to get a well paying job and that is the goal and then my secondary goal is i want to have a meaningful relationship okay and finally i you know want to change my life in certain areas now this is what they wish now if they truly believe that they can do it and by believe is not that uh, can you do it yeah i can do it no i'm talking of that steadfast obsession where even if things don't go your way you have no doubt you will achieve your goal like for example my one of my clients who was searching for a well paying job he wanted this job very badly um he tried he didn't get tried for 6 months didn't get one year didn't get one and a half year didn't get two years mentoring him didn't get finally lost his job that he had and we still continued the mentoring process two and a half years didn't get and it is at the third year just in my three years of mentoring nothing was happening and and finally he did one day break down and express his fears and say he said i don't know am i doing a mistake and he saying sir i don't want to doubt you but i'm so afraid and i've spent so much money on this mentoring thing it was not that i was not concerned i was also equally worried but i told him you have to hang on you cannot give up now don't and i told him we'll do whatever it takes together i doubled down on my efforts and worked well happy to say after 3 years he got not only his dream job he got it in a better company and he got it in a a salary he never thought a package he never thought was humanly possible now i've spoken about this in my other videos and i've told you there's a strong element of luck also but that luck would not have happened if he was not prepared he was he had aced the ability to answer any interview he had aced in the 3 years huh? imagine we speak almost every day almost every day he had aced his ability to answer interviews handle objections negotiate market himself talk about himself uh deal with stressful conversations everything and his life has never been the same today is living the dream but we together me and him together went through a brutal 3 year period yeah now if i had just told you or oh, one of my clients had a dream and he achieved it after 3 years it wouldn't make sense but i gave you okay 6 months and 1 year do you know uh, how much he had to convince himself especially when results were negative do you know how many times he got rejected how many times he is no on the face sometimes people would not even respond to his emails and then when he lost his job oh goodness he used to break down and cry there were days where he used to break down and cry 
because just imagine you the door being shut on your face there's no money coming in money is just going on and everywhere you go you're being thrown out do you know what it does to you it's very easy to just read colonel sanders had uh, 10000 rejections or edison had 10000 rejections and finally got yes that's very easy to hear experience rejection is different and the worst part is you do not know when the answer will come when your prayers will be answered you can go who knows see it happened after 3 years neither him nor me knew that it would happen after 3 years maybe it would happen after 4 years what about 5 years what about 10 years what have you ever even thought that maybe after doing all this maybe a person would never achieve his dream do you know how many film actors actresses do you know how many movie stars uh, or aspiring movie stars want to make it a career or want to succeed and they are just living hand to mouth how many singers how many uh, how many individuals like there are forget okay these are creative endeavors what about people who want to migrate abroad what about people who migrated and want to start a new life what about people who invested all their money and savings into a business only for that business to stall or not give them the returns you know have you ever thought if a person is 50 or 60 years old and they <clears throat> have made a mistake or lost everything that they built how do they cope up then do you believe in yourself at the age of 60 in fact when i get sometimes emails and messages someone who is 60 years old the oldest i got i think was person was 72 he was asking me can i get any job i'll pay you any job just tell me what amount i have to pay you i don't i don't sir you're 72 i mean why do you want to work and he told me things went south what i believed would give me money didn't i lost all my savings my children don't want to support me i need to look after myself my wife is sick any job will do i didn't take money from him but i did whatever i could to guide him and help him but just imagine he still believes that maybe he can get a job somewhere now will he get i don't know i'm sure neither do you see this is life you know so now obviously you'll ask me then boy what's the point of believing yourself if you don't know whether you'll get or not don't get what's the point isn't it better to just be realistic and say ah, no i can't do it yeah realistic you have to be you have to be realistic that is without a doubt you can't say at the age of 40 uh oh okay i'm going to start training for the olympics or i'm going to become uh, uh, an nba all star or i'm going to become the greatest cricketer after sachin tendulkar i don't even know how to hold a bat at the age of 40 no we need to be realistic yeah you can't suddenly wake up saying okay i'm going to be a billionaire no there you need to be realistic but what i'm talking about is being realistic while being realistic to believe that you can do what you want to do and you can achieve what you believe you wish to achieve and it should be practical it should not be you have never lifted anything okay i'm going to lift 1000 kilos no use common sense but self belief let me tell you you know see like they say you know just because you have self belief doesn't mean you'll achieve the sun moon and stars okay but not having self belief it's impossible for you to achieve i give you the example of my client if he didn't believe at all that he was going to get something if he didn't believe at all how would he have achieved here you have to believe no so if he says no i don't believe then the whole process is a waste but if he has hope if he believes and he works towards his goal yes he will achieve it 
So what I want to leave you with is a very simple uh, theory, very, very simple. Yes, you must be realistic, okay? Yes, you must have a goal that is slightly higher than what you are, like 20% more, okay? Or say, don't go way overboard. Like if you have never done exercise in your life and you your goal is to be like David Goggins, uh, all the best. But if you have never done exercise in your life and your goal is, I just want to, I've never done one kilometer, I'll try one kilometer, fine. That's doable. Or if you're doing one kilometer and say, I'll try to do 10, doable. But if you've never done any bodybuilding or powerlifting, I want to be the world's strongest man. No. Also, you need to consider variables, age and your capacity and industrial changes and, you know, changes in the industry and, you know, AI and careers and... Because remember, a lot of the careers as you go with time, they vanish. So keeping all that in mind, then comes self-belief. You must believe in yourself very strongly. You must. There'll be enough and more haters, there'll be enough and more doubters, there'll be enough and more critics. That is your job, to be critical of you, to hate on you, to put you down. Maybe some of them are speaking the truth. That if you're 50 and you say, I want to be some, let's say, get your brain sorted out, yeah? But otherwise, without self-belief, you'll not achieve your goal. So that is why when I talk to my clients, I first ask them, tell me honestly, how much do you believe? Why do you believe? What drives you to believe? What is that deep root? The root cause that makes you believe this. Why do you believe you will not fail? And once you reach that core, no, then you'll understand whether they can or cannot do it. And then whether they say, yes, I can do it, they are right. Or if they say, no, I can't do it, then you're right. Remember, it's not my job to change a person's belief if the person already believes in something. Anyway, we learn from life. Let me know your thoughts. Okay? And yeah, I'm sure you'll have a question or you'll have an objection. Feel free. Write it down below. You know, I always read it. And uh, if it's worth giving a response, you will hear my response to it. You guys take care. This is me signing off.